The Los Angeles Lakers took a big step in adding to their lineup yesterday when they brought in J.R. Smith from the free agency pool to a rest of the season contract. Everyone knows what J.R. Smith is able to do on the court in terms of bringing reliable shooting and somewhat reliable defense and playmaking as well to the team. But I think it's what J.R. Smith has gone off through off the court uh, as well as some of the emotions he's gone through on the court in terms of his blunders and his mishaps that he's had. I think everyone knows the finals problem that he had a couple years ago in the iconic picture of LeBron James and him after he forgot the score of the game. However, it's those mishaps and blunders that J.R. Smith, you know, the experience that he's gone through throughout his career, when he comes to the Lakers and he's able to finally practice with them, he has a lot of experience that he's going to bring to the Lakers, and it's going to bode very well for the younger guys like Anthony Davis, who has not really reached the top in terms of team success like guys like J.R. Smith, LeBron, you know, Dwight Howard, JaVale McGee, Rajon Rondo. All those guys together are going to give Anthony Davis a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge going forward. However, one of the younger guys who are probably going to be hurt from the J.R. Smith signing last night is probably going to be Kyle Kuzma going forward. Kuzma came into the season with expectations of being the third co-star along with LeBron James and Anthony Davis, and he hasn't really lived up to the expectations. Some of it is to be blamed on him. Some of it is to be blamed on, you know, the lineups he's put in. So, you know, it goes 50-50 between blame with him and stuff he can't control. However you want to blame the situation, Kyle Kuzma has not lived up to expectations of a third star like guys like Chris Bosh and Kevin Love have done throughout LeBron's career. And maybe that's partly our fault for placing, you know, expectations of Kevin Love and Chris Bosh on Kyle Kuzma, a guy who's only going into his third season. And throughout his career, he's played with LeBron for like 45 games, and probably the best player he played with before that was maybe Lonzo Ball or Jordan Clarkson. Like, Kyle Kuzma has not played with a great team before, and he's definitely not played with a team like this before ever in his life. Last year, playing basically by himself after LeBron was injured and before Anthony Davis came to the team, Kyle Kuzma placed 41st in terms of field goal attempts throughout the whole entire NBA. And this season, now that LeBron has played a full, you know, pretty much he's been healthy throughout the whole season and Anthony Davis has been there, Kyle Kuzma ranks outside of the top 100 in terms of field goal attempts. So a little bit of a shifting in terms of a team dynamic has hurt Kyle Kuzma. And yes, that does hurt Kyle and it's something that he can't control. But also, if he's supposed to be that third star, he should be able to star in his own role and be able to carve out a role, especially a guy coming off the bench and playing with a transcendent talent like LeBron James. Kyle Kuzma should have been a little bit further in terms of his development of a third star, and that just hasn't happened this season. Part of me wants to believe that the additions of Markeith Morris and J.R. Smith are to offset the lack of production that Kyle Kuzma has brought this season, and... Going forward in Kyle Kuzma's career with the Lakers, I honestly almost want to believe that it marks the end of Kyle Kuzma's tenure with the Lakers. It's no secret throughout the NBA that the Lakers do still want to add a third star, and if they do end up adding another guy who can provide 20-point scoring, it's going to be... They're going to have to sacrifice someone like Kyle Kuzma in order to get them, and as much as I'm sure they would hate to do that, I don't think they would hesitate to add someone like Bradley Beal or if somehow they're able to get a third star with LeBron and Anthony Davis. I don't think they would hesitate to trade Kyle Kuzma to get that third star. At this point, the Lakers have had to do so much to keep adding scoring to their team and they've had to do a lot in terms of keeping up with the Los Angeles Clippers to stay the powerhouse in the West. You know, they've added guys like J.R. Smith, added guys like Markeith Morris. I don't think they want to, every single season going into the playoffs, have to rely on adding guys throughout free agency or adding guys in trades to be able to offset lack of production that they've seen elsewhere. So at this point, I think Rob Palinka and the rest of the Lakers front office are just going to think, why not get a third guy who we can consistently rely on to provide 20-point scoring? instead of having this guy who could give us 20 points, but more than likely he's going to provide less than what we really want him to. And 
At this point, that's kind of where Kyle Kuzma has played this season. Part of me doesn't want to blame Kyle Kuzma for his lackluster performance, and when you look at what Kyle Kuzma has been able to do when Anthony Davis is not in the lineup, he does some great things. There's a five-game stretch halfway through the season where Kyle Kuzma put up about 20 points in when Anthony Davis was out of the lineup. But if you have to take Kyle Kuzma and say, okay, Anthony Davis is gone, now you can perform. I don't think the Lakers want to do that. I don't think the Lakers want to rely on Anthony Davis not being in the game in, turn, in order for Kyle Kuzma to play at his best. That's just not what they want to do. At this point, going into the postseason, I honestly would expect that there's going to be some games that Kyle Kuzma might just not play in the game. The Lakers already had a rotation where they played about 9 to 10 guys deep, and now adding J.R. Smith, there's going to be a guy that probably isn't going to get many minutes, and the name that probably is going to get less minutes is Kyle Kuzma. If you just look with, throughout this lineup, they've already got guys like Rondo, Danny Green, Contavious Caldwell-Pope, J.R. Smith is now within the lineup, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Markeith Morris, JaVale McGee, and Dwight Howard. That's leaving out guys like Quinn Cook, Alex Caruso, you know, that, that's already leaving out some guys. So Kyle Kuzma probably is going to be getting even less minutes than he was already this season, and it's going to hurt the Lakers to do, but if it's what is best for their team and their organization, I, they're not going to hesitate to do it. And going into the short offseason that the Lakers are going to have in preparations for the 2021 NBA season, I also wouldn't be surprised if Kyle Kuzma gets traded to another team because, like I said, they're not going to want to rely on having to have one of their star players like Anthony Davis out of the lineup in order for Kyle Kuzma to play at his best because they want to have five guys at a time who they can put together and that's just their five best players that they can go out and play it at their best. And Kyle Kuzma can't do that with Anthony Davis on the court. They don't. They would rather have Anthony Davis on the court than Kyle Kuzma anyway. But if now going into a conversation in terms of building their lineup, if they have to say Kyle Kuzma can't play at his best when he's with Anthony Davis on the court, then why would they keep Kyle Kuzma? I still think Kyle Kuzma could possibly blossom into a 20-plus point-per-game score in the NBA. It's just not going to be with the Lakers. And it hurts to say because Kyle Kuzma, you know, he was looking like a, a star piece with LeBron and Anthony Davis. It's just how he fit within the lineup, how he fit in terms of going from a guy who was taking, you know, 17 plus shots a game to a guy who's taking about 10 to 11 shots per game. It just hasn't gone well for him or the team. And again, now with J.R. Smith in the lineup, they also brought in Dion Waiters a couple of months ago. So... All of these additions to the Lakers rotation and lineup, it doesn't help Kyle Kuzma and it really honestly sets the stage for Kyle Kuzma to be traded in the offseason. So with all of that being said, that's going to be the video for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. If you like the content that I put out, make sure you hit subscribe. Uh, if you didn't like the video, make sure you hit the dislike button. Any feedback from you at this point is much appreciated. Uh, if you, again, if you like what I put out, make sure you hit subscribe. If you think there's anything I forgot to talk about, make sure you leave a comment down below. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.